G'day Brand Builders, how are you going? David here, just posted up at our local cafe, doing a little bit of work, doing a little bit of research into sub brands, trying to establish what brands are doing well, what they're doing not so well, uh, reverse engineering what they are doing so that we can implement it within our own brands. And I stumbled across this brand called Podium. Now they haven't launched, they're in the midst of their pre-launch strategy. And I really wanted to break down what they're doing because this has huge potential and I think what they're doing here ticks all the boxes, bar a few things which I'm gonna highlight and I wanna to present to you guys today. So I'm just gonna shoot my screen down. And first and foremost, you can see that they've got a squeeze page here, a sign up page, which is imperative. Watch July, 2021. Uh, we are three quarters of the way through July. They haven't launched yet, so um, I'm curious as to see if they'll stick to their deadlines. Um, I must say, I apologize for any noise in the background of the coffee machine is going. It's a bit of a hustle bustle cafe, but we'll endure. Um, what you can see here is they've got a squeeze page with all the vitals, first name, last name, email, mobile, obviously trying to build up their list so that they can nurture them during the pre-launch season, during the pre-launch process, I should say, and then hit the ground running when, uh, when they're ready to launch their products so that they can market to uh, a ready buying list. Now, this is great and this is a must have, but where this falls flat is that I feel, in my opinion, that they just don't have a strong enough call to action. They just, just don't have a strong enough value proposition or incentivization to get people to sign up. So get the latest, just doesn't cut it for me. You really want to incentivize it a little bit more. You know, be the first 100 to uh, have dibs at purchasing our, you know, top new release products, whatever it may be, but you need to put some scarcity in there, you need to put some novelty in there, you need to put some exclusivity in there, all the sort of psychological triggers that really um, persuade people to take action. So that's that first part. But where the real magic happens is jumping over to their socials, so the Instagram page, and having a look at their strategy and how they launched or how they are building up hype around this brand now granted they have some key players involved in this brand world's fittest man five times over influencers athletes everyone in this space of crossfit so they've got a bit of leverage but this can still be done at a lower scale even if you don't have those type of authoritarian authoritarian is that the right word people and pieces of authority at your disposal so let me go through and just click some of these posts and present to you what they've done so well that is so exciting about this and that should be replicated. Now, before I do, let me remind you that with any pre-launch strategy, the objective is to build a community, build an audience that you can nurture, make them feel a part of the process, expose them to parts of your business, whether it be product development, product design, the people behind the business, the athletes involved in the business, or the influencers or the personnel involved in the business, so that they really feel a part of the process. And these guys have done it well. Furthermore, they've done all the sort of tips, hints, and strategies that we would use once a product is launched. They're doing that prior to actually launching, which I think is genius. So I'm just going to go through and show you. So first post here, April 19th, the first authentic sports nutrition brand for our community, built from within, coming soon. So if you guys don't know, this is done by uh, Matt Fraser, who's I think the world's fittest man, and Buttery Boys, Buttery Bros, which are like some really fit CrossFit dudes. They do a podcast and they got, uh, you know, they're, they're quite prominent in the social media space. So they've got some legs to begin with. Next post, obviously, this whole first row is just to bring out the brand, get people excited. Here's the logo. Next post here, same thing, nothing too special, you know, building the base to deliver something special in July, prompting people along, psychological triggers, giving people a time frame. And again, repeating the process here, and this is just to show visuals on their socials. But again, it's building that pipe, it's getting people excited. This is where the next day where we start to see a little bit of an inkling of what's occurring here. Now, for you guys that don't know, and I didn't know this myself, but from research I found out, this blue guy in the middle is the world's fittest man, five times over. These two other guys are the Butterly Bros, which are like some fitness uh, CrossFit personnel. First post here, check out the next post for a huge podium giveaway. Next post, attention, podium's first giveaway. 
podium products with me in the production in just a few weeks. Be the first person to have all three podium products in all seven flavors signed by the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Matthew Frass and shit to you. So here's what they've done here. They've done a giveaway even prior to having the products and they've associated it with a known person they want and being signed by them. So there's a sense of exclusivity, there's a sense of uh, novelty, and there's a sense of scarcity. All those psychological triggers that are really, uh, you know, hit the nail on the head here. Furthermore, look at the actions that they're requesting that you fulfill. Double tap this post. Double tap, you're liking it. Good for the algorithm. Hit the follow button, follow the page, build up their follow account. Tap the paper airplane button below this post and add it to your stories. You're sharing on your stories. Again, that social proof aspect, tag two friends and they'll win something. So you win something, your friend wins something. The principle of reciprocity. So you're giving something away. You're making it exciting that you want to join your friend, make your friends a part of the process. So this is really valuable. And again, Think about this, they haven't even got the product yet. They're just doing a giveaway prior to the product and building up their page, building up their audience. Then, obviously, check out the previous post for a huge podium giveaway. Go back. Then, a few things. Athlete announcement coming soon. Pretty hype about the people that are going to be associated with their brands, so they're going to have these. And then, the post, Justin Media, so I'm not sure who this guy is, not my space. I don't know the crossfit, but they've pulled him in here. So again, if you're working with influencers or athletes or any personnel celebrity, you could do this here, or even just social proof, people, reviews, you can do a review of, um, you can get a review or somebody doing a review of your product that may be a friend or family, and just adding that reinforcing social proof aspect. Then again, these posts are going through, uh, building around the fact that they've got an athlete, then another athlete, this guy, and then podium, uh, more branded aspects, and then product announcement. So you can see here that they've built up, they've displayed the brand, then they've done a giveaway, then they've launched some athletes for credibility and authority, and then they're announcing a product. Now, mind you, they're still in production. They have not even launched a product. They're just going a product announcement. So they're getting people a part of the process, making people feel part of this process. Product announcement. And then they post again, then they're announcing their product. Here we go, a pre-workout. Fuse is a full disclosure pre-workout designed to get you through even the most grueling programming. Podium Fuse combines blah, 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 blah. Nonetheless, you can't buy this yet. But if you want to be the first to be able to buy this, go over and sign up. This is how we drive people back to the squeeze page to get their details. Remember what I've said in previous times, you just want to get roughly 100 people on your list ready to buy. So if you can sell 100 units out of the gate, you've set yourself up for success to build your brand fast. Product announcement, then they did the next few posts are based around the specific flavors that this product is going to uh, be released in. Then another product announcement, then their way. And that's pretty much where they're at at this stage. But as you can see, this is a fantastic way of just simply building up authority, building up hype, releasing the products, building up your follower account. It's a page that haven't even really essentially gone live yet. They got 33,000 people. That's phenomenal. So they've really got a strong audience there. And then how many people have signed up on their email list. So when they launch, I dare say that they're going to have a pretty successful launch on their belt, under their belt. So this here, and again, this strategy can be repeated across any platform. Obviously, Instagram here is their cho chosen um, platform, and this is probably what I would use. And in fact, I would use this exact same strategy via a few little things that I feel that they could improve upon. One being make their squeeze page a bit stronger with more of a compelling action taken on board. Two, I'd probably do a couple extra giveaways, incentivizations. And three, I'd probably cross-promote those giveaways with other people. I'm pretty sure they would have done, but what I mean by that is I would get the athletes, influencers, or people that you're presenting uh, as part of your tribe to cross-promote that. So you might be a cross-promotion giveaway just to really reinforce that trust and credibility and that social proof aspect. But guys, there you go. If you think about launching a new brand, or you're thinking about launching a new product within your existing brand, Things like this, strategies like this are a must. There's a difference between just flicking the switch and saying, hey, I'm live, we've built it, they'll come. It doesn't work. 
you need to build up the hype, you need to build up these processes prior to, to get that hype, to tap into those psychological triggers, to get people to comply and buy. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. Until the next video. Thank you.